Yeah, I did upgrade from the Cruiser. Not really. Still my, still my favourite car. <laughs> but um, good morning, everyone. What's going on? What the hell is going on? Wakey, wakey. Hands off, snakey. Put on your socks. Hands off, rocks. Come on, guys. Get out of bed. Sleeping is for the weak. Sleeping is a luxury. It is pump the job time. Sunday, Monday, every day. Let me give you guys a quick shout out. Um, who do we have on here? We've got Vinny, we've got Sally, we've got Boston, we've got Marcy, we've got Ramel, we've got Colton, we've got Angel, we've got Christina, we've got Dan. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. You know the drill. Um, tap that screen, give the dingo here a ton of hearts. And um, hope you guys are having a fantastic morning. Left Middletown, Ohio, around 5.30 a.m. Just on my way to Toledo. Um, for those of you that have been following my um, broadcasts, I, I um, like to do these little Periscope broadcasts while I'm on the road. Um, just because I normally get really busy in the, um, in the office. Um, and I actually missed my 5 p.m. broadcast on Friday, so my apologies for that. I tried to... Um, why are you in the USA? Because of all of the beautiful women. <laughs> um, because of real estate. I buy run-down distressed properties. I fix them up, and then I sell them to investors. Um, yeah, so, guys, this is what I want to chat to you about this morning. Um, NYC. Hi, NYC. What's going on? I'm, I'm, I'm traveling to New York this Friday. Um, I'll be there for the Flip Fest uh, uh, event to meet Frederick Eklund. I'm sure many of you guys know who Frederick Eklund is. He's that... Um, Realtor that's got his own TV show. So, um, yeah, look, check this out, guys. So, how to deal with setbacks, uh, business, entrepreneurship, and and life in general is. Um, I'm outside of Cleveland. Be careful in that. Sorry, I can't can't really read, mate. I'm gonna have an accident here if I start focusing on every text. <laughs> so sorry about that, but um. This is what I want to chat to you guys about. So how to deal with setbacks. Um, business, entrepreneurship, and life in general is, is full of setbacks. And you're just going to get knocked down nonstop. Every single freaking day you're going to get knocked down. Um, so with that being said, I mean, uh, one of my favorite quotes is by Martin Luther King, right? And it goes like this. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But whatever you do, just keep moving forward, right? Now, I'm sure that a lot of you know who Barbara Corcoran is, okay? She's that awesome blonde chick from um, Shark Tank, the older one, not the younger one. There's this really cool video um, that she did. I think she was having an interview with Business Insider. And they asked her, you know, what what makes her select a particular company or an entrepreneur, right, in, in the Shark Tank? Why does, she, why does she decide to find someone? And she says, I don't give a shit if someone's got an MBA. I don't care if they've got a Harvard degree. I don't care how well educated they are. What I care about is, is when I look at the pain in their eyes, and if I think that this person is someone that can pick themselves back up once they get knocked out. So Google it. Barbara Corcoran Business Insider interview. It is freaking awesome. Um, and, and I very, very much believe in exactly what she's saying. And I'll tell you why. Okay, for those of you that don't know who I am, um, I'm known here in the U.S. as the real estate dingo. And um, I quit school when I was 14. Okay, so I've got no formal education whatsoever. Um, I played professional soccer when I was 18, so I was very fortunate to, to achieve my lifelong goal. But um, I can't type for shit. My grammar sucks. My math is even worse. And um, um, it takes me 45 minutes to compose a detailed email because my typing skills are so poor, right? But... I am where I am today, first of all, because I work very, very hard all day and every day. Um, and I always ask questions of people who are where I want it to be, no matter how stupid those questions may, may seem. Okay, that's number one. And number two, no matter how many times I fucking get knocked over, and excuse my French there, I pick myself back up and I keep moving forward. Period. Every single day I get knocked over. All weekend, I was dealing with lame-ass maintenance issues on our rental properties, okay? I shouldn't be dealing with those issues because I'm not a property manager, but I'm dealing with those issues to help out my team 
and, and just to get shit done, right? So, once again, all weekend I'm getting knocked over. Today's Monday. I don't even know how many things I've got on my to-do list. It is overwhelming. I've probably got seven different to-do lists of shit that I have to accomplish today. Literally, I can work 24-7 without, without sleeping. And I still won't get shit done, which is great because that pushes me to, to, to do more and to do better. But with that being said, guys, how to deal with setbacks is to just keep moving forward, no matter how many times you get knocked over. And I get knocked over every single day in New Zealand. Thanks for tuning in. What's going on? Um, I get knocked down every single freaking day, numerous times a day. And it doesn't even affect me anymore. It's just normal. It is literally just normal. It is just another day. It is just another problem. It is just another issue. And we deal with it. You figure out how to deal with it. Um, another great piece of advice that I got given to me uh, uh, by one of my previous uh, mentors. No worries, man. Happy, happy to help. When problems do arise, okay? So when problems do arise, never react. Sydney, what's going on, Sydney? Thanks for tuning in. Haven't been home in over over three years. I'm hoping to um, um, go back home to Sydney in around March of next year. Fingers crossed. I'm from I'm from the Northern Beaches. Grew up in Queenscliff and Freshwater, so I'm um, definitely miss home very much. But um, the advice is when when problems do arise and when issues do arise, okay, never react and always respond. Okay, so don't forget that shit. Never react, always respond. I used to be the type of person that would react. I would, you know, get the shits. I would throw my hands out. Yeah, that's not a knife. Exactly. Um, I would start swearing and cursing and, and men at work. Love men at work. Um, and, yeah, I would just start swearing and cursing and I would never I would never sort out the problem because I would react, right? So you, you're not allowed to react, guys. You have to respond. You have to stay calm. You have to stay collected. And, and you have to respond to the issues at hand. Because if you react, nothing gets resolved. You just cause a lot of drama. Everyone gets pissed off. Boomerangs. Yes, yes, yes. You must be from one of the um, REI Expos. You, I'm sure you came to watch me speak. Um, so, yeah. Never react. Always respond. Write that shit down. Never react. Always respond. I used to react. Never sorted out any problems. Just caused more shit. The All Blacks. <laughs> yeah right um, so that's pretty much it guys feel free to ask any questions um, everyone watching the replay thank you so much really appreciate it I think that Periscope only tallies the hearts from the um, from the replays so make sure you're tapping that screen giving the dingo here a ton of hearts and um, look that pretty much concludes my, my little broadcast here with how to deal with setbacks um, for any of you that have any questions, I'm more than happy to help. Follow me, mate. I will. If you shoot me an email, I don't know who you are, but I'll, I'll try and check my um, I'll check my video later and I'll see who you are and I'll follow you. So I can't I can't really keep my eyes completely on the on the phone because I am driving on the highway. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm on the highway, so definitely don't want to get into an accident. But um like I did before. But um, look, guys, feel free to ask any questions. Real estate, business, entrepreneurship. There's a real estate conference in Cincinnati with Dan Merrill. Is it worthwhile to go? Um, yes. Yes, I think it is. Look, I've, I've gone to a ton of... When I first started my journey as an entrepreneur and real estate investor, I went to a ton of, ton of um, conferences, expos, conventions, seminars, meetups. I mean, you name it, I did it, right? Your network equals your net worth. So the more people that you speak to on a daily basis, the more you will learn. Um, not just as a business owner, but as an individual. It will mold you to be a better person. So I suggest that that um I suggest that you know you attend it. Personally, I wouldn't be subscribing to any programs just because it's something that I never did and it's something that I never will do. I do not pay for seminars courses and all that jazz i mean I, i'm i've currently got so many successful entrepreneurs that are a part of what i'm doing that it's insane i can just go to them for sound advice um and and i'll tell you what your practice makes perfect so you're never going to get um from any seminar what you're going to actually get from doing it you know yourself 
Um, will you make mistakes? You sure will. Will you lose money? You sure will. Same as I did. Very good point. I'm surprised. Looking forward to invest with you soon. Thank you. I appreciate it. Listen in serious. How do I get involved in this? Not sure what you want to get involved in. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, shoot me a message on on um, Facebook or shoot us, send us an email via our website. We're always happy to help. I get my admin team to forward me all of the emails live so I get to, to take a glance of all of that stuff. But um, yeah, look, just going back to Facebook. Yep, Facebook. Um, get involved by jumping in. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what you're looking at doing. There's a ton of ways to jump into real estate. And there's a ton of stuff to do in real estate. So just let me know what it is that you're looking at doing and I can um, tell you if we can help. Um, sounds like you've been through a lot. Oh, yeah, I've been through a ton of shit, man, and I'm still going through a ton of shit. But you know what they say, before you reach the pot of gold, you got to go through the lump of shit <laughs> or a ton of shit, right? So um, it is what it is. We just keep moving forward. We keep working hard. Angelo Remora. So just um, type in my name and you'll find my you'll find my Facebook. It's easy. Angelo Rumora. But um, yeah, look, I never was a fan of those seminars, expos, and all that stuff. I, I just think that you know it's a pump and dump scheme, and what that means is they rally you up. You know, you got Tony Robbins that comes in, he starts you know singing these songs and dancing on stage, and then and everyone subscribes to his you know three day mastermind or whatever the freaking thing it's called, and you have to pay five, ten, fifteen grand. So Personally, guys, it's 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 not my cup of tea. I, I got to where I am today not by paying for that stuff. Um, I got to where I am today by trial and error, making a ton of mistakes. Um, I know a lot of the gurus out there are going to hate me for saying it, but bad luck. Anyway, they're all a bunch of scammers. I do not know of one guru that doesn't have a bad criminal background. The lawsuits, bad better business review, rip off report. I mean, Google their name. Google anyone's name. If you do not find anything on the first three pages of Google, they might be legitimate. Pay $25 to do a background search, and then you'll find if they are legitimate. Um, and, and we can also, um, you know, dig into that stuff too. And everyone knows everyone in real estate. It's a small world, so we know who's shady, who's not, who's the real deal and all of that, all of that fun stuff. So, hey, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I've got a jet. I've got a few phone calls that I have to make. Um, look, I, I broadcast three days a week. Any advice for me? find the right Pam not sure what you mean by that um, guys I got a jet look thanks for tuning in I'll be broadcasting today at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so make sure to tune in then happy to help um, I talk about real estate business entrepreneurship motivational stuff any way I can help I'm more than happy to do so it's about you these broadcasts are not about me they're about you um, I like to build my personal brand by doing them and it just gives me an extra bit of content on YouTube and my social media profiles. But at the end of the day, I'm here to help you guys. Um, Missy, hi darling, how are you? I'll see you in a bit. I think I'm around around an hour away from Toledo. So, um, yeah guys, look, happy to help. Make sure you, you do something today to get your step closer where you need to be. I'll catch up with you later on at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, work hard today, work smart, and have a fantastic day. I appreciate it. You guys take care. Alrighty. Have a good day. Bye.